Hello guys, Mikjub here and welcome to another monthly update of Slime is Can Memory and I believe it is day 967 of me playing this game as a free to play. And yeah, so I've used 33 more days till I reach 1000 days of playing Slime. Oh my god. I never thought I would play this long. Um that is like the next next meta so right now we're gonna get soon a meta as an app that another meta so on the second meta i will reach 1000 so that's nice so how was my july in the slimy sky well i would say i had really fun for try harding here to bleed this here to bleed was really fun to try hard but still i wasn't happy with the result i thought i would get rank one but i got pushed down to rank two so yeah but before I talk more about that, let me show you more stuff here. So I do have this here to bleed from the previous one. You can see I didn't do well on the previous one because I didn't have the meta. So rank 206 is not the best. That is top 3.3%, not really good. And then we have my Vala Cup season 19 where I got rank 37, which is top 50, still top 50. But still I want to reach top 10 somehow. For my daily stuff, where we do the single polls, I got really good stuff. Um, I got the uh, EX Milam from World of Fantasy and also another Milam that is already due. So two nice 5 stars I got, really nice. And other than that, um, I want to talk about uh, my nation, showcase my nation. I think I'm going to postpone it because I just learned that you can actually increase the, the new area, the tourist area where you can actually expand it. So this is my currently uh, building right now. Not the best, but I learned that you can actually expand it. So I'm gonna try to level up everything. Just to try to get the maximum expand, then try to build it. And then I will finally do my showcase. Hopefully it is will be in July. I know I postponed it too much now, two months now, but I'll try my best. I just learned that you can actually expand it. So I will try my best to expand that. So what do you think about this current meta, the Commander Force? I would say I actually enjoy this uh, force. I mean, it is just another blue stacking team, right? That where you can deal a lot of damage within the eight turns, right? But I really had really fun. Now, the only issue is that you can't rely too much getting green. If you're getting more than three greens, your run is pretty much over. Because you don't have that many green or converter unless your fifth unit is a uh, water rimmer, the free to play water rimmer, right? Other than that, I really had fun with it, really enjoy. Now, when it comes to summoning, ha. Ah, yeah, about that, it didn't go well, right? Hinata with Renard, I had to go full pity, 200. Then for Shizu, 200, another 200. No, I'm really happy because now I have a AoE DPS, right? That is good, a fire AoE DPS, which I'm lacking and can, that can be really useful for Valakop. So that is actually a good thing, right? And Diablo, three multis, he came home, I'm really happy. So I'll save a lot of magic crystal, kinda. I currently at close to 2000. So really, really happy of that. So the fourth team, I'll say I really enjoy it. Either, even though it, it is just another blue second team, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy using it. it. It was really fun to deal a lot of damage. But now the question is, how good will it be in the future? Well, I can see Hinata being useful, for sure. Uh, when it comes to like barrier content, if the enemy has a barrier, or her buff itself is really, really strong. She's a... Uh, maybe for AoE, Hero Jubilee, that's all that can be good uh, as long as as long it is a fire weakness or holy weakness, that's right. Um, Diablo used as another single target DPS, might be really really strong, but I don't know if they're gonna release another boss that weak to holy, right? Maybe good in normal battle, who knows, but. In the future, I, I, I am unsure. I am actually unsure how good they're gonna be in future. But hopefully they're good. Uh, Glenda might be really good in any blue second team that relies on synergy. That will be... I think she can be really flexible. 
but her second effect is reducing uh, physical attack, so she can unlimit it to physical only. So maybe it can be good, who knows, I'm, I'm unsure, but hopefully they still be good, because I waste a lot of magic crystals, so I hopefully praying that they will be still useful in the future, terribly being useful for metas. But we'll see, and next meta. So next meta is pretty soon, use two days from now, two days, three days, something like that. Depends when I release this video, but yeah, I'm really happy. But yeah, uh, the command force, I really like it, I really enjoy it. So now, time to talk about the Hero Jubilee Catalyst 40, yes. So I try hard in this Hero Jubilee so much that you can see, I think I have a screenshot here. But you can see I have farmed so many times that I reached over 140, I guess, 140, 140k tokens that you get. Which is not normal because you only need to do 20k and you pretty much got all the rewards for yourself. And the guild is uh, it's not individual but together. Um, but I gathered over 100k. So you can see I single-handed did some part of, for the guild. And yeah, I tried hard so much because I thought I would st still keep uh, rank 1 for a while. Because EU, EU server, we are pretty much lazy. We always wait for late uh, for last day and then we start to try hard on the last day. But yeah, um, Ender, congrats for rank 1. I don't know how you managed to be lucky. Either you have a dupes on your new force team or... You were really, really lucky on your orb start because I was trying to get 1.4 million points. That was my goal. Try to reach that. I did not match. Even though I retry, retry many rounds, I farm, keep farming, trying to get the best possible orbs. I never succeeded. I mean, I was pretty close though. Uh, I think I have screenshot there. I have pretty close. I think there's one run where I only needed one Shizu or orb to get a full EX on three units. And then maybe I could reach up above 600k points on, on boss battle too. But yeah, it was not like it. It is required a lot of RNG. Now, yeah, and this team that I'm using, which is Yogurt team, it lacks green orb converter, right? So it is kind of bad. Uh, another replacement that you can do <clears throat> is probably remove Jizu, the Overlord Jizu. Replace her with someone else that can debuff and also buff or being an or converter. That will be nice. I don't know anyone that has that. Maybe there are some characters that I don't have has it. Who knows? But yeah. Um, so I'm really happy with my result, rank 2, that is my highest rank, unless someone actually beat it on the last hour, I don't, I'm not sure, I wasn't awake. Hopefully I'm still rank 2, if not, I'm gonna cry because I try hard so much. But there's something I learned, the first feeling on tryharding, yeah, I never try hard so much in uh, Hero Jubilee. This one and Hero Jubilee 2 are the only one I try hard, the rest I didn't do that. I didn't try out too much, I only tried to get top 3%, that's all, that was my goal in every single Hero Jubilee, because I was still free to play. But now, oh my god, rank 2, that's probably my highest achievement. I, I did say I want to reach top 10 in Hero Jubilee and top 10 Battle Cup, so I achieved that, right? I achieved that, really nice. Now, my goal is try to finish top 10 in Battle Cup, and then next goal, probably during third anniversary where I try to get rank one. We we'll see, we we'll see. I just need to say magic crystal, that's all. And how ready am I on the next meta? Next meta, I'm pretty much gonna skip. I want to save now, I want to say. I want to make sure I can secure for collab. Any future collab, I want to make sure I get every single one of the new collab because once they collab, they might maybe never return. And I do wish they do a rerun for Konozuba, Overlord, and maybe Idol Master because I I really like to collect limited units that is from collab because they are limited, right? It's really nice to have a collection and you were part of it, so that is nice. So I will try to save as much Magic Crystal as well, and I maybe need to skip everything because I want to also prepare for third anniversary. 
I'm sure they're gonna be a big unrest, right? A big ce celebration where they put something broken uh, unit, right? A broken team that gonna to clear most of the content. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it is. But yeah, um, I will not be watching that live stream, so I'm gonna just wait till they reveal some of the characters and then react to it, right? That's, that's gonna be my job for now. But yeah, um, we'll see how the next meta is. I'm pretty sure I can just gonna skip unless I'm really lucky during the free tickets polls. Who knows, maybe I get the, all of them. Maybe. We we'll see in two, three days, right? So yeah. So summary of June. I'm really happy. I really enjoyed this tryhard. I had really had fun with Commander Force. I really liked the team. And now I just need to relax and restock my resource, restocking my potion, restoring restocking my hammers for gear enhancement, focus more on saving magic crystal for future banners, especially for collab, and that's all, right? So, yeah, I really had fun, and we'll see how the next meta is. So, that is for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my commentary for my monthly update, and see you guys next time. Take care now, and bye-bye.